Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the recap. Today is the 24th and it's Friday, ending the week. So today was very choppy as well uh, in the small cap, you know, not a lot of momentum. I mean, it's been like this since Tuesday through Friday, um, at least for me. Um, so, you know, today I'm finishing the day down, you know, around five bucks, five dollars, four dollars and ninety cents, something like that. Um, so very small loss, uh, this whole week, actually Tuesday through, you know, Friday, I've, you know, I've been very good at managing my losses to very small, right. And letting my winners ride. So, you know, just like any other day, um, I come to my desk and I pull up my gaps and I see what stocks are gapping. So I was watching ENT, NTZ, MGEN, THTX, um, I think, B yeah, and BNGO. So, you know, the thing about, uh, I think it was um, NT, <coughs> NTZ. So NTZ was choppy like crazy. I mean, this stock literally was moving 5 to 10 cents and then dropping back down 15 cents and moving up again 15 cents. It was so quick. So it was just not worth, you know, trading. I took a couple of trades on it and I think I broke even or if anything, maybe lost a few bucks, but... I was up 50, then down 20. It was like like that every second. So I just got out of it. You know, it wasn't worth the risk, I would say. So, yeah, this was one of them. Um, the other one was at ENT. ENT, same. I mean, this stock was also very whippy. I mean, each candle you can see is like, what, like 657, the highest, and then the lowest is, you know, 610. 50 cents per candle. That's insane. Look at this drop right here from... 675 all the way to 592. I mean, if you get stuck in that, I mean, you could be done. So I decided not to trade this. Uh, or even if I did, I think I got out or whatever the case was. Let me just check. I don't think I did trade it. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I didn't trade it. It wasn't worth trading, right? Um, you know, so th the best one I would say would be BNGO. It's worth showing you guys so that way you guys can learn something i think it has the best valuable lesson so bngo i i got in i believe uh for the break of vvap um around 88 89 cents and uh and i sold on the way up and i think i got in again around 90 cents and sold some on the way up as well i didn't sell it at the highs but I sold around i think like 93 94 i didn't know it was gonna move that much so yeah i mean as you can see like you know, this point was the break. Um, the reason why also the VVAP is right there. When we see push through the VVAP, it's most likely it's going to go higher. So that's why you got to keep an eye on it. So, yeah, this was the most valuable lesson for today, right? So the key thing in a choppy market like this, you want to work on making sure your losses are small, okay? Just because the market is choppy, that doesn't mean you can't practice any other skill, if the market is good, you want to let your winners run. That's one skill you want to practice. But don't forget about the other skill, which is risk management, managing your losses, which is making sure your losses are small and they're very tight, right? For example, at least in my case, right? Uh, let me show you real quick. Um, let me pull up. Mm. Let me go on YouTube. And if I go on videos. Yeah, if you see right like for example yesterday i lost one or two today i lost only five bucks today five bucks yesterday one or two then 69 96 then monday i won 600 right so, so that's you know what you want to work on when the market is choppy right and when the market is good so look 600 three bucks you know even but then look 319 283 300 257 191 then you know lost 69 then made 17 then made 260 right 400 200 so these are two skills that you want to practice one letting your winners run in a good market and two making sure your losses are very very tight when the market is choppy because that's another skill don't forget that and that's very important as well because if you're winning let's say a few times but your losses are bigger then you're not going to be green right so that's the other thing you want to watch out for guys um so other than that hopefully you guys are green uh please subscribe to my you know channel here so if I, you know, go to my analytics, I don't know if they show, um, let's see here. So if I go here to lifetime, 
Um, I want to see if they show people that are subscribed and not subscribed. Uh, huh, I thought they did show. I don't know. Um, hmm. Let's see. Traffic. Traffic. I mean, this is not a lot of traffic, obviously. But I want to see where they show you how many people that are subscribed are watching um, watching the content. Oh, right here. Look. So check this out, right? Watch time from subscribers. People that are not subscribed, that's 90% of my viewers. So guys, please help me out. Like the channel and subscribe. You know, that helps me, helps the channel and the algorithm, right? That's how I can push out this content more and to everyone else. And also you can join the Twitter channel as well. That's where I post my watch list, right? Check that out, right? ENT, NTZ, everything is here. BNGO, right? So that's it from me. Other than that, I will see you guys Monday. Have a good weekend.